Hi folks, in this video very briefly I would like to show you how you can use your 40 meter mobile antenna and a single magnet mount. The problem is a single magnet does not provide enough uh, capacitive coupling for lower frequencies. Of course you can add some Diamond Mat 50s to increase uh, capacitive coupling or you buy a bigger magnet mount with three magnets for example. But the problem is uh, these are very hard to get off of from your car, especially when it's a very tall car. So um, I drilled a hole into the base of the mount, attached a connector and added a 10 meter counterpoise. Let me show it to you now. Here's my mag mount and as you can see I drilled a hole into the side of the unit and then I uh, attached this socket here where I can attach my counterpoise wire, which normally then goes over the roof of the car. And this will help to improve the overall performance and uh, keep the SWR low. Of course, the uh, bandwidth uh, of the antenna is very, very small. Let's go inside the car, hook up the antenna analyzer, and then we will uh, check the SWR with and without uh, the counterpoise wire. All right, the antenna is hooked up to the analyzer and the frequency is set to, let me see, frequency is set to 7100, which is the center of the 40 meter band in Europe. And then let's uh, scan the SWR. And uh, yeah almost uh, in the middle of the band. Let's go up a bit. Let's see. Let's do this one more time. Yeah, round about 7125 and the SWR is about 1.5. So let's do this again without the counterpoise. Okay, let's check the SWR again. And as you can see, yeah, the frequency hasn't changed. And the SWR is well, around about at 1.9 or something like this. As you can see, the counterpoise wire helps to lower your SWR and it also improves the overall performance. And I did a lot of activations during the winter time with this setup and I was very successful. So that's it for the moment. Thanks for watching.